The USS Seawolf SSN-21 represents one of the most advanced nuclear-powered fast attack submarines ever built, a vessel designed during the height of the Cold War when the United States sought unmatched undersea dominance. Commissioned in 1997, it is the lead boat of the Seawolf class, a trio of submarines conceived to counter the most formidable naval threats of the Soviet Union. At nearly 9,000 tons submerged and stretching 353 feet in length, the submarine is larger and more heavily armed than the Los Angeles class it was intended to replace. Every aspect of its design was engineered for stealth, speed, and firepower, making it one of the most formidable machines to patrol beneath the ocean's surface. Its construction reflects the cutting edge of submarine technology. Built by General Dynamics Electric Boat Division in Groton, Connecticut, the USS Seawolf incorporated advancements that pushed the boundaries of naval engineering. Its nuclear reactor, the S-6W, allows the submarine to operate with virtually unlimited range, only constrained by food and crew endurance. This propulsion system provides not only tremendous power but also enables extreme quieting, the kind of stealth that makes it nearly undetectable by enemy sonar. The hull is coated with anechoic tiles that absorb active sonar signals, while internal machinery is mounted on isolation rafts to minimize acoustic signature. These innovations make the submarine exceptionally difficult to track, even for advanced anti-submarine warfare systems. The Seawolf's mission profile was ambitious. It was envisioned as a hunter-killer submarine with the ability to engage and destroy advanced Soviet ballistic missile submarines, surface ships, and even hostile fast-attack submarines. It carries a fearsome arsenal, eight torpedo tubes, capable of launching Mk-48 ADCAP torpedoes, Tomahawk cruise missiles, and Harpoon anti-ship missiles. With the capacity to load up to 50 weapons, it is more heavily armed than any other American attack submarine. This combination of speed, stealth, and firepower made it uniquely suited to dominate contested waters. Operating at depths greater than 800 feet and speeds exceeding 35 knots, it can maneuver in the vast ocean with both agility and persistence. The submarine's interior reflects the needs of both high technology and human endurance. Crew members, numbering about 140, live and work in a highly controlled environment, where every inch of space has a purpose. The control room is equipped with advanced sonar, navigation, and fire control systems, integrating a network of sensors that allow operators to detect distant threats and track multiple targets simultaneously. The Seawolf's sonar system is among the most sensitive ever installed, giving it the ability to hear faint sounds across great distances, an advantage that often means the submarine can track adversaries long before being detected itself. Life aboard is demanding but carefully managed, with strict routines, rigorous training, and the constant presence of nuclear safeguards ensuring the vessel's safe and efficient operation. What makes the Seawolf unique is not only its technical specifications but also the strategic environment into which it was born. Designed during the Cold War, it entered service after the Soviet Union had collapsed, which dramatically altered its role. The immense cost of each Seawolf, well over $3 billion, meant that the class was cut short, with only three built instead of the planned fleet of 29. As a result, the USS Seawolf stands as both a pinnacle of Cold War naval ambition and a rare symbol of what might have been. In peacetime, its role has evolved from direct superpower confrontation to supporting modern U.S. Navy operations, including intelligence gathering, surveillance, and potential strike missions in contested regions. The submarine is designed for adaptability as much as raw power. Its ability to deploy special operations forces, insert unmanned undersea vehicles, and conduct covert intelligence operations makes it valuable in a world where threats have become more asymmetric. It can operate beneath polar ice, navigate near hostile coastlines, and remain submerged for months, giving it unmatched flexibility. Its crew trains continuously for these varied missions, ensuring readiness whether the task is shadowing an adversary submarine in the deep Atlantic, monitoring naval activity in the Pacific, or conducting surveillance under Arctic ice flows. The legacy of the USS Seawolf is as much about engineering triumph as it is about strategic purpose. It embodies the pursuit of silent supremacy in the world's oceans, a vessel that reflects the pinnacle of submarine warfare technology at the time of its creation. Although the class was curtailed by changing global circumstances, the Seawolf itself remains a living example of American naval mastery. Its continued service demonstrates both the durability of its design and the foresight of those who imagined a submarine that could operate in any ocean, under any conditions, against any adversary. 
It is a machine built not just for war but for dominance, a reminder of the lengths to which nations will go to secure their place beneath the seas. Twenty six machine becomes most evident. The once analog heavy panels have given way to a digital glass cockpit with large multifunction displays that provide pilots with real time data fusion information from radar, infrared sensors, satellites, and other allied aircraft is combined and displayed in a seamless manner, allowing the pilot to focus on decision making rather than scanning multiple separate instruments. A modernized helmet mounted display system enables the pilot to target enemy aircraft simply by looking at them, integrating with advanced missiles that can lock on at extreme angles. The seat remains reclined for improved tolerance to high G-forces, but ergonomic improvements reduce pilot fatigue during long sorties. Voice command integration and artificial intelligence assisted. Systems further reduce workload, making the aircraft a true partnership between human instinct and machine intelligence. Remain effective. Instead, by constantly adapting, the Falcon stays relevant, powerful, and respected, a living symbol of American aerospace, engineering, and a trusted partner in the skies across the world.